Greetings, pokey people. Ichigo90 here. I have never played Gen 4. Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. It, it never happened. So I decided recently that I would play Pokemon Platinum for the first time ever. And what better way to do that than with a Nuzlocke? You all know the rules by now. Only catch the first Pokemon on each route. If it faints, it's dead, and you have to give it a nickname so that you grow attached to it in the meantime. Here's how that went. So, as you can see here, I have Platinum ready to go. I've gotten myself up to where I pick my starter Pokemon. And, and you know, I, I already know exactly who that's going to be. Not you. You. We're going to pick Chimchar. So Chimchar is the first member of our team. And Barry's taking the Pipla. I guess he likes penguins, I don't know. I don't know if it's just the uh, system that I'm playing on or if it's just like this, but for some reason it's really slow. I think it might be my, just, it just might be my bootleg Nigerian DS, I'm not sure. But anyway, it scratched the Pipla. And he's using Growl. And of course we win. Chimchar's level 6, awesome. really well. But, of course, one Pokemon cannot win a Nuzlocke by itself. So we had to bolster the team just a little- A bit do. Yo, monkey! Back, Pokeballs. Okay, maybe I do need to lower it up a little bit. I've only got five of these. One, two, three. We got Bidoof. Oh, uh, what do I want to call it? Um, I'm gonna call it Derpy. Pokeball. Alright, Starly was caught. Now, I'm going to call Starly. You know what? I'm going to call Starly Bob. Barry, what are you doing? I was putting together a pretty good team. But, of course, this is a Pokemon game, and Pokemon games mean rival battles. Uh, apparently we're having a battle with Barry now. He's got a level 7 Starly. Ember. Scratch. And Pipla. I think probably knows. It's using pound, fine. I keep using growl, Pip Love. Keep using growl. Okay, wasn't scared for a second. 
I do, however, need to go heal, like, right now. Well, Barry might have been a pushover, but the next challenge in our way was the first gym. But I should have known it wouldn't be as easy as just walking through the front door and challenging the leader. Uh-huh, the gym leader's gone off to the coal mine. Where's the... Alright, you look different from the other people. Using Rock Smash, the boulder blocking your way goes away. Falling boulders need to... Of course you have to be the gym leader. Okay, well, cool. Go do your job. Yeah, rock type is pretty common as a first gym. Think out Geodude. This one's level 12. Misty's up to level 14. Then we'll water gun. Try to one shot Geodude. And then Onyx. Water gun. One shot Onyx. Crane dose. Stay in. Okay, this one is pure rock. So it's only two times weak to water instead of four. And because of that, it survives. What can you do? 
Clear to level 8. Hello? Look at the Valley Windward. Bunch of people dressed like spacemen. Okay. What do you want me to do about it? Yeah. Turns out the people cosplaying as aliens weren't quite dumb. And we were going to have to fight their leader. Yeah, just... just... Let's get this off. Let's get off of this. Set up Zubat, level 15. Nitro, level 17. Wing attack. To the point of unconsciousness. That, that's what I think I'm doing. Alright, Nitro groups at 18. Excellent. For ugly. Yeah, we'll switch over to Bob and get an intimidate off. Okay, that, that's good though. That scratch did nothing. And we got a crit. Let's go. Excellent. Mars is defeated. So, with the leader of Team Star Trek Wars out of the way, we were able to make our way to the second gym and earn another badge. Let's go. say, after losing Misty the Psyduck to Gym 1, I was a little worried about how difficult the gyms in this game would be, so going Deathless through Gardenia felt great, and I was ready to add some more Pokemon to my team. Our encounter? Ghastly. Alright. Water gun doesn't kill, right? They use curse. All right. I don't want to talk about it. All right. Gun tank. 
Gun tank is dark type. So we switch over to monkey. And we mock punch. Okay. okay. Quick attack. Okay, we should live this. Alright! That was actually terrifying. I did not like that at all. So, we did survive the battle with Jupiter, but there was still a problem. Monkey was still poisoned. Ah! Bro, I don't have an antidote! I, and he already used the Petra Berry! Fortunately, I discovered a quality of life thing about this game. Gen 4 is the generation where poison no longer kills outside of battle. And after clawing my way through that terrifying experience, a kind soul came offering some comfort. For you a nice egg in this trying time. But then some blonde lady rudely forced an egg into my party. Yeah, thanks. What am I gonna do with this? Never take eggs from strangers, especially blonde strangers. Pepper Anthony, Picnicker Lauren. Not sure he's soon. I, I, I wasn't ready to go up against the world champ. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Can, can we talk about this? Cadabra died to a random hiker on a random route. Thankfully, though, we weren't too far away from getting a new psychic type. Derpy in the forever. 
So, um, after definitely not cheating and re-encountering a female Ralts after the first one teleported away, um, we were able to add Sapphire to the team. too soon either because the third gym was right around the corner. was kind of tricky, but we managed to pull through. Alright, and we got the Relic Badge. However, that did not mean we were safe by any means.
was a pushover. And with so few deaths so far in the Nuzlocke, I was feeling pretty good about myself. That's called foreshadowing. Hey guys, whose puzzle is less annoying, Maylene's or Lieutenant Surge's? See, I think Lieutenant Surge. Let's get off with Bob. Versus Maylene. Starting off with Meditite. Alright. 
Eventually, I was able to find the correct path and got to the gym, and I thought I was going to be able to face the gym leader without too many more problems. done, we could actually challenge Crasher Wake to a battle. Also, 
Okay, but we do have speed, which is good. Alright. Anyway, magical leap. How did you land yawn through that? I'm at plus six evasion and that's when all of your moves start. What? Oh crap. If this doesn't KO Brian. Okay! Well, I did not love that. But we made it through without losing anybody. We got the Fen badge from Wake. Whatever a Fen is, I, I don't know. But before we could get to the sixth badge, we had another run in with the blonde lady. I, I, islands are not inside, they're, they're surrounded on all sides by water, not in the water. But uh, like, if, if there's a mound at the bottom of the lake that does not come up out of the lake, it's not an island. It, it's just an underwater hill. Or, or maybe an underwater mountain, depending on how big it is. But it's not an island inside. Are you going to go inside of Route 210? No. Anyway, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. Okay. Yeah, I'm not working on my Pokédex. I, I, I'm doing a Nuzlocke. Right? What the... What? Hello? Uh, yeah, I used the secret potion you gave me like two seconds before you showed... What was even the point of giving it to me if you were going to come here on your own anyway? But like... But that you could have easily delivered this yourself, but no, handed it to me and then had me deliver it to the side up, and then you just show up right after it's done. What? Well, why do you want me to deliver the charm to your to your where? to the Psyduck, only for a blonde lady to show up immediately afterward and then deliver a old charm to her grandmother for her, Cyrus, the leader of the space people, decided to challenge us to a battle. Well, like, if I don't protect this incomplete world, what's going to happen to all of my cool stuff? It's not that hard of a question! Mark Fudge! Psychic? supposed to go. Yeah. I'm not 
Pokemon in a Nuzlocke, but like, I didn't have a lot of options for electric type offense, and that was the only one I had at the time. And I've already beaten your son, by the way. Uh, he wasn't all that tough, all things considered. But another one should finish it. Alright. Aqua Tail again. Alright, Steelix is done. This thing looks like it would be pretty heavy, so let's low kick. Oh, let's go! I think the only damage I took was from the sandstorm. <laughs> playthrough so far, it was time to find something that I had searched for before the battle, the way to get to Iron Island. That's how you get to Iron Island, if you talk to this guy. However, while we were there, we lost an important member of the team. Regardless, the run continues, and at the end of the maze, we ran into Team Spaceman. Uh, I mean, instead of battling them, we could have just, like, pushed them off that ledge right there. I don't think anyone would mind. I'm now 
uh, this is the last two, right? Sir. some reason did not throw Team Spaceman off the cliff, although I maintain that would have been a good idea. He did, however, give me a Ryolu egg. party we had to run all the way across the region because the only Pokemon we had that could learn fly died in the process of obtaining beans the Ryolu.
I did not look at the level. Um, my bad. Brian Horn is dead. Pointing as it is that I accidentally got these the Rhyhorn killed in a completely avoidable manner. We made it to Snow Point City and the seventh gym. Alright, want to challenge Candace? Yeah, no Candace in the history of Candaces has ever spelled their name like that, okay? Th this girl's name is Candice. Can I stick this in your mouth? Who you sent out Sneasel. Roll that beautiful bean footage. That is now plus six. Oh, that would have cried, we'd be dead. But, but it didn't, so it doesn't matter. headquarters we may or may not have spent some time wandering around and being lost but we made it to the Cyrus battle which went disastrously Uh, huge 
huge twist. And yeah, you, you, you get what I'm trying to say. So Boogie's dead. That one loss. That that one. Boomy dying to the Sneasel set off a chain reaction that very nearly cost me the run. shard. This is super effective. Hopefully it's enough. No. Drill pack. How did the Defense 78. No! That's not what I meant to do! survive we're in really bad shape yeah. okay, the lack of music is starting to bother me why are you taking so long to play as the last one. But we still have a ways to go. So, so it's a worse repel than what you're telling me. Sent out Bronzor. 
up rocks. So that double battle with the commanders could have gone a little better, but we made it through without losing anybody and that's what matters. There's still a little excursion to the distortion world though, and the Cyrus battle that awaits. Yeah, and of course the blonde lady shows up after the gate to the distortion world is open and the double battle to even get to Cyrus to try to stop it has been decided and she's going to act like she's so helpful even though she did nothing while I was wandering around lost trying to get back to our world. So blonde lady is right there, right? Like she's, uh, she's going to help, right? But like that's why she's here to help. Yes! We miles down! Alright, 
saying that we get through confusion anyway. So Cyrus is defeated. Or why couldn't they have just initiated that battle? Look like why? Why? J just why? Spaceman disbanded. Giratina captured. We could finally go to Sunny Shore and take on the 8th gym to complete our collection of badges. After climbing a lighthouse and convincing the leader to do his job. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, you do that. What? Yeah, I was not expecting a gym that is just like open to anybody with a Pokemon and a Pulse to have their electricity and exposed gears that anyone can just fall into. Like, like where is that gym inspector Nurse Joy? I mean, doesn't she have anything to say about this? Uh, and also, I wasn't expecting Mamoswine to get crit one-shot. Does this thing have, have levitate? Let's find out. Or oh, not! But we did still manage to make it to Volkner. And we still had a ground immunity. It, it just wasn't the one I wanted to have. We get it. You're, you're the big electric guy, the, the last gym leader, the final boss, blah blah blah. Start with a stealth rock. Really? Get in power. Shoes down. Got a summer soft boiled crunch. Well, we lost three of our Pokemon there. 
but we got the stupid badge. So the run continues and we can make our way to Victory Road. the Nuzlocke taketh away. Nothing can be cut in without giving something of equal value in exchange. That, that, that's the rule for a Nuzlocke, right? KFC wraps her back, including a new mac and cheese one. Choose two. insult to injury. That was an entirely optional battle. It, it turned out that there was no reason for me to be there. It, uh, not only was it the completely wrong direction, but there wasn't even a good item behind those people. It was time to enter the Elite Four. You've got the power of bugs, apparently. I've got the power of monkey! Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, never mind. That thing probably killed me with a flying move that it has for some reason. So, you know what? God heal. I did not like 
like that. Post combat again. And it's going to run out of heal or TP at some point. But or Surf is going to land a crit, you know, either one. Elite Four number one. Down. Or ground type Pokemon, good. That's what I was banking on. Holy Scash. Okay, Sapphire. Psychic. Elite four number two down. Elite four number three. Down. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Mr. Mime. Alright, let's see how much faith attack does here. Now, all that's left is the champion.
Until then, I'm Ichigo Nighty, 